Welcome back, everybody. Former State Senator Wendy Davis and other abortion rights advocates have filed a federal lawsuit against the abortion law here in Texas. There have been several unsuccessful challenges to this law so far. Sherman Chow is at our Avenida studio with more. And Sherman, what is different about this challenge? Well, Davis works with an abortion fund, and this suit is filed against four individuals, including a current state lawmaker, who have targeted abortion funds and donors. We'll explain. We are suing individuals who have threatened to sue and have in some instances filed suit against abortion um, funds and people who donate to those funds. Okay. Wendy Davis, a Democrat and former state senator from Fort Worth, says those legal threats have a chilling effect and keep potential donors from contributing to abortion funds. It's also violative of the First Amendment, freedom of association, free speech rights. Among the defendants being sued, Republican and State Representative Briscoe Kane from Baytown. Uh, abortion Barbie Wendy Davis admitting to, uh, to violating Texas law by, by funding abortions. Look, uh, there's no constitutional right to pay for another person's abortion, and there never has been. Right now, SB 8 only allows for private citizens to enforce it by allowing them to sue anyone aiding in abortion after six weeks. Briscoe also wants to revive a decades-old statute from before Roe v. Wade. Is it your position that if you fund an abortion for someone, that's a criminal act and one should be arrested for that? You could be arrested for that. Whether a local DA is, uh, has the guts to do it, it is still the law of this state in Texas. And Davis says this new lawsuit addresses that. Direct threats that have been made by individuals and a lawmaker basically to criminalize and possibly arrest people who are providing access to abortion outside of the state of Texas. Now, this lawsuit also alleges, as others have, that SB 8 violates Roe v. Wade. So far, that has failed in the court since SB 8 uses civilians and private lawsuits for enforcement, not the state, and therefore escapes judicial review in a federal court. Guys? All right. Thank you so much, Sherman Chow.